All right, this morning we're going to talk about querying dates in MongoDB. And this video will be a little bit longer as an alert uh, than normal videos, so this probably will go over the, the six minute mark here. And because we're going to cover a couple of nuances, and then of course between the greater than and the less than, that seems to confuse people. And we're going to also cover about querying dates as far as the type. Now, there's a lot of questions that people will generally ask in Mongo about. Um, you know, why am I not getting a value back? And we're going to cover some of the, the possible errors that you could get here. So let's first of all look at uh, some, some values in our collection habs, which are basically habits. And we're looking at the date that these habits were, I believe this is creation date, the date that they officially started. The reason why is because of the, the actually, uh, what is it, program that does this, you can backdate the habit. So I'm not sure if this is the backdated value or the date that it actually was created. So it looks like, and this is true, creation date looks like a date. Okay, I, I totally understand that, and we'll see in a second what it actually is. So let's look at uh, querying this, this value. So we have find. And what we want to do is we want to look for creation date. And let's suppose that we want to look at the creation date where it is greater than, and we're going to say 2014, 05, 01. So we want to see how many uh, values we have that are greater than that date. And you'll notice that we get uh, three values back, which is kind of interesting. They basically are all around the same time frame. So, and I, I understand where the confusion comes from. Some people are like, well, what, what is greater than and less than as far as time? Well, just looking at this, greater than means after this date of 2014.05, which means less than would be before. And let's look at this. So um, we have these values. In fact, one of them is right on the line, um, 2014-04-30, right? So, and don't work, don't feel bad about less than, uh, less than or greater than. Um, that that's one of the uh, what is it? The errors that I I've seen in query tuning sometimes is people are like, oh, I meant to say less than or greater than or whatnot. If you've ever looked at the Khan Academy, you'll see sometimes he'll get the uh, what is it? The negative signs wrong. And remember, he graduated from MIT. So, and then he goes back and he's like, oh yeah, that's right. So it, it happens, believe me, even with the best of us, we have to stop and think, oh, wait, that's less than, not greater than. So, but that will, that kind of gives you a perspective. So less than we're talking about earlier, basically, and greater than we're talking about later. Uh, you can think of them as that, um, and that'll make it a lot faster. So, cool, we got the, the values. Now, unfortunately, there seems to be a lot of questions in Mongo about when it comes to querying dates. So first of all, I'm going to do it right, and then we'll do it um, wrong. So let's suppose that we wanted to look at all the value or all the values that are earlier than today's date. Okay, but this time I want to actually use some of Mongo's built-in operators or functions. Okay, so I'm going to pass in date. Right now we know that date is a string value of the current date. Right, so. If I call this, I should, in theory, get everything back because nothing has been started after today's date. And we can prove that by saying, okay, what is greater than today's date? Nothing. Okay. So this is where the confusion seems to start. Well, people will say, well, why can't I use this operator? So let's look at less than because we know every value should be less than. And we call new date and I get nothing back so again let's look at new date for a second so new date is an ISO date and this is the value it's looking at this is not a string I know it may look somewhat similar to this value up here 2014 06 19 but it's it's not similar these are not the same values so the reason why the date uh, method, I'm going to use Mongo's terms here, or I, I always think of it as an operator more, but the date method works is because the date is a string and this is stored as a string. So I say if you have a SQL Server background, you know, for whatever reason, developers love to store dates um, as var cards. 
And so what will happen is somebody won't know this. And so they'll, you know, think, okay, great, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this date query and they'll pass in these variables between this date and that date, and T SQL breaks because it's like, huh, what? You know, you're you're throwing a throwing an error because it's a var car. So you have to cast something as a date to do that. So in this case, luckily we we have a we already have an operator. We have this great date, this uh, string operator, and you see that it works. I mean, we can actually query um, these values. So when you get if you get errors on querying dates in Mongo, you want to make sure that the type matches. If it doesn't match, then you are going to get those errors. If it matches, then you're fine. So if it's a string, string. If it's date, date. 